Before I do this intro, I want you to know, I opened Gloria, Gloria Grove and I did not even look at your script. Why? Because I have a feeling I am going to love this. What up, everybody? We are back doing Gringos from Quarantine. Sejam bem-vindos a mais um Gringos de Agem. Aqui é o Vini e vocês pediram, mas vocês pediram tanto que hoje os gringos vão conhecer a Glória Groove. Ai, que coisa boa! Mundo se acabando e a gente manda nessa... Pra quem não conhece, o Daniel Garcia tem 25 anos. Ele nasceu e foi criado em São Paulo e ele é cantor, rapper, dublador e drag queen. Ele vem de uma família muito humilde, ele foi criado pela mãe com a ajuda da avó e da tia. A mãe e a tia dele costumavam cantar em bares para ajudar na renda familiar e ele começou a cantar ainda quando criança no coral da igreja. Sua carreira teve início em 2002, onde com apenas 7 anos ele participou do programa de TV Balão Mágico. Sou Daniel, e o que mais gosto é cantar? Após isso, dublou programas como Hannah Montana, Digimon, Power Rangers e até mesmo a série de filmes da Disney Descendentes. Oh, she like King Ben. That's sick. I love Descendants. Em 2014, começou a se identificar com a cultura drag após assistir o programa de TV RuPaul's Drag Race. RuPaul's Drag Race is everything. Honestly, I can go on about some of my favorite drag queens. One of my favorites is Brooklyn Heights, who's from Toronto. And she plays second on her season, but I can, I digress. I can go on forever about RuPaul's Drag Race. FYI for all of you girls up there, I don't want to hear any goddamn excuses. Be prepared. Ela afirma que nunca me encaixei e me enxerguei dentro do que as pessoas esperavam para mim. Quando se olha, não se sabe se é homem, mulher, meio do caminho, se chama de ele ou de ela. Ser drag me permitiu me ver pela primeira vez como artista. Ali dentro, posso explorar o que quiser. I don't know, I think that's kind of like one of the main reasons why a lot of people dress in drag is because it's like empowering. Let loose and sort of like express themselves, which is really important in today. It takes a, it takes a lot of guts to... Put yourself out there like that. Em 2016 começou a sua carreira musical e em 2019 dublou o Aladdin no filme aí no live action da Disney e também cantou a trilha sonora do filme. And this may be an unpopular opinion, but Aladdin, the live action version, was fantastic. Glória Groove conta com mais de 1.5 milhões de inscritos no seu canal do YouTube. Change my hairstyle, but it's more too quente, quente, more too quente. Quente, more too quente. Oh. Oh. A primeira música se chama Bumbum de Ouro, foi lançada em fevereiro de 2018 e conta com mais de 107 milhões de visualizações e também foi parte da trilha sonora da novela Malhação. Bumbum de Ouro, bumbum, means the butt, the hindquarters of a male or a female. Usually in popular culture, refers to the female as it is worshipped in many countries as a symbol of power and sexuality. De Ouro means of gold, but of gold. When you see a gem that is named Golden Butt, you don't read a script. There is no information you need before or after. You just watch and enjoy. Oh, wow. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, ears. Mm. Mm. Very gold and glamorous. Oh my god, he is here. The bass is kicking in my headphones too. I like it. It's good so far. This is fire. This is absolute fire. I'm noticing a trend with Brazilian songs is there's a lot of booty shaking involved. I mean, shake it if you got it, I guess. First of all, as long as you're confident, doesn't matter if you're a cis woman, trans woman, whatever. If you own that ass, it's a good ass. So just right out there right now, full support. I'm there for you. I'm there for you guys. Oh, this is a sick club song. Stand strong because it's a shitty world out there. You need to brace yourself for whatever critique comes your way. 18 carat of ass. I don't know if I can say that, but sorry. She has... 18 carat of ass. I want you guys to understand the carat system. What is the meaning of one carat, okay? One carat in diamonds generally means 200 milligrams. Now, when you say 18 carats of diamonds, uh, 18 carats will be 3.6. 3.6. 3.6 3.6 grams of ass. Now, if you're measuring now, if measuring diamonds, let's look at if you're measuring gold. 18 carats is a is is a system of 24. <laughs> Eighteen out of twenty-four is 75 percent. So our friend here, Gloria Groove, there's eighteen carats of ass. It means there's seventy-five percent of a pure ass. 
So it's 7.5 out of 10. I'm being way too specific about this. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to finish the video. I hope you use that. That's that's hilarious. If you're editing this, is be like, why the f get this guy involved? This guy's a maniac. Is the guy rapping the male version of, of this track thing? Fire. Yo, I gotta say though, real talk, as much as the the measuring system and the lyrics do not uh, follow the uh, the logic that they're trying to like communicate here, uh, especially with the, in, when it comes to purity of gold. Um, this beat is bumping. This is this is shit you grind to in the club. All right, like you can dance to this shit. So, I, Bum Bum Gioro, that's a really good song to dance to. Full stop. I mean, I don't see any butts made out of seventy five percent gold or. 3.6 grams of diamonds. 3.6 grams of diamonds is a lot of diamonds if you put it on your hand. Diamonds, by nature, don't weigh, don't weigh that much. They're they're the hardest substance, but they're not technically the densest substance, right? Yeah, it's hardness. It's not density. So it's not like occupying space and weighing a lot. Why the f*** are you talking so much about gems? Eu não sei mais. Eu tava legendando e editando de boas, mas ele não parava de falar sobre isso. Aí eu decidi deixar umas partes avulsas aí para vocês verem. That gold paint just dripping. Beautiful. I like the way it's filmed too. I think they did a good job. Pablo Vittar's gonna run for her money. Como sempre, a gente tinha que perguntar pros gringos se eles gostaram da música, se eles aprenderam a cantar um pedaço da música. Oh my god, I love a drag queen. We all know, I love myself a drag queen. They are the fiercest performers on the planet. My god, that's the dream. Vinny, if you think I'm gonna sing part of that song, no way, no chance. I'm not that glamorous. That's what we'll go with. I'm not that glamorous. No, because I wasn't actually listening to words. I was kind of reading the subtitles and like just jamming and, and feeling my vibes. A próxima música se chama Coisa Boa. Foi lançada em 2019 e o vídeo tem mais de 60 milhões de visualizações. Coisa de boa, good things. Coisa boa, or big things? Big things or good things? I think that's good things. Oh, it's jail. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's not Joe. It's a locker room? A little bit darker. I'm getting Lady Gaga telephone by. Where is this? Is this a jail? This is a jail. Okay, that's jail. This one's a totally different look from the last one, which is kind of cool. Yo, I gotta say though, the makeup that whoever is the makeup artist for her, like, this is amazing. Look at the amount of work. Look at those curls that are in on her hair. Look at the eyelashes. Look at the, the way the lipstick is detailed. There's not a single... Like, I'm so amazed by the talent that's in Brazil, especially when it comes to makeup and beauty. The outfits. Pretty cool. I like them. Party with them. Me, her, and Pablo Vittar. Dream. The song's a little more aggressive. I like it. It's good. Look at that. Look at... Look at this is art, actually. This is not easy to f do. Whatever artist, whoever designed this, this is just art. Like, this is great. Like, that's one thing about people in drag is they always have like the coolest style. They always go, they take it to the next level, which is really cool. No limits on the visa. I wish. I wish there was no limit on my visa. Actually, I don't. Really think it's my I think rapping in Portuguese is harder because you get there's way more words. You fit way more words in, or it seems that way. Anyway. The world is ending. Well, that's literally been 2020. Last video, clearly, you know, we had like measurements of value and wealth and rare earth metals and diamonds. Is this a jail? That's all I have to say. This is fire. It's like orange is a new black vibes too, which I'm getting a look. That's the most you're gonna get. There's a little dance for you. Goes a boa. This is sick. Novamente perguntamos para os gringos se eles gostaram da música e se eles sabem cantar uma parte dela. That is dope. I was just blown away. Good production quality, great music. Cool. I like that song better than the first one. It was a little more, a little more edgy. The lyrics are obviously the showy, like I'm this, I'm that. You know, I'm better than you, and you know it. Which is good. It's the energy of potentially confidence. I like it. And the, and the music, very well produced. Very f well produced. It was like, Cosa Boa. Do, 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 Cosa Boa. Sick. Oh no, I sneeze. I have a COVID. I'm gonna die. I'm Asian. If I sneeze in public, I get beaten to death. A última música se chama Yo Yo e é uma parceria com a cantora Isa. E pra quem não sabe, eles já conhecem a Isa, tá? Eles conheceram a Isa no Gringo Geagem, a Isa. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. 
Sambesa daw. Sambesa. Something something. It was like, oh, oh. Like, empeza daw, empeza daw, daw. A música também foi lançada em 2019 e tem mais de 46 milhões de visualizações no YouTube. Wow, wow, wow. Those are big heels and a crowbar. Wow. Somebody just got murdered. If you're standing in shoes like that, I respect you. My feet would hurt. This is kind of the telephone too. Kind of give me that vibe of like Beyonce and uh, the Lady Gaga, which they get in the car and she's like, you've been a bad, bad girl, Gaga. Boom. Here's the ba, 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 ba. Go down, I'm rolling back and up like a yo yo. Class. Yo yo. Oh, he's talking about yo yo, like the kid's toy that goes back and forth and, 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 tricks and, and stuff. I like yo yo. I had a yo yo one. How do you even learn to sing that? This is so bad. Dad's loving it. Dad's like, cool. we can keep this on. Kids, cover your eyes. Oh, never mind, they're dancing. I swear, like, the production value here is good. The people, people put budget behind this shit. Like this, these are also like really good. Like everyone's so f talented. Like it makes me feel like I need to start like taking lessons of how to dance like this. Wow. She's fire too. They have banging bodies. Yo, this girl is fit. Damn. Like that's a lot of workout. Oh my, that's not easy to get by the way. She's like food in general. I can't look. I'm impressed by how many different metaphors there are for shaking your butt. Like, it's not like CrossFit when you go too hard. There's like refinement and CrossFit where she just got great genetics, either or. That, you know, that's that's a gift. All these women are, oh my God, where do you find them? Jesus Christ. These looks are just fierce. I love the suspenders. Seriously, people are like making a big deal about Korean girls and K-pop body. I'm like, have you seen Brazil? Have you opened up a YouTube video with Brazilian women? Now? I like how this video cuts between the dancing, like the choreographed stuff, and then kind of cuts back to the family. I think this kind of neat. Changes it up a little bit. If you think about it, look at a yo-yo. All right, here's the image of a yo-yo. It's kind of like it has a crevice. It has two, it has two cheeks, right? Two sides of, and then when you, and you look at a butt, it has two sides and a crevice. They're saying, the action is yo-yoing, it applies, I guess, because one looks like a yo-yo and you can shake it like it's up and down like a yo-yo. And then the kid's toy yo-yo, it also looks like a butt and it goes back and forth. It's a very clever use of your lyrics. Much, much big. I like this much better than the 18 karat analogy you made earlier. E é claro, vocês já sabem, a gente perguntou pros gringos se eles gostaram da música e se eles aprenderam alguma coisa da letra. That one's probably my favorite video. I think that was uh, the one that was shot the best and uh... Uh, yeah, I enjoyed that one. You can't do this to me when it comes to drag queens. They're all amazing. I can't pick a favorite. So sorry, you're not gonna get one. I think it's it was really really well shot and it was kind of kind of a cool effect. There's gotta be a counter of how many times uh, she says lumpa and yo yo. Because on as a lumpa lumpa as a lumpa lumpa yo yo as a lumpa lumpa as a lumpa lumpa yo yo as a lumpa lumpa as a lumpa lumpa yo 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 yo. You got like five yo yos in there and. Eighty as a lompa lompas or lompa lompa. Yo, is it is lompa by itself, but or lompa lompa? Lompa lompa is kind of cute, but like, oh, this is my lompa lompa. I hope you guys all have a Brazilian drag race and get to witness this fierceness. I love a drag queen. Gloria, you're killing it. Keep it up. Your music sounds good. I wish I was confident enough to shake my butt like you. Thank you for watching Gringos React. Be sure to hit like and subscribe for more gringos that are in Canada, trapped in quarantine just like you guys. The rest of the world should learn from Canadians. Not me, don't learn from me. Learn from like the actual nice people, other people in this video who are nice. If you guys wanna chat with me or get to know more about my life, you check out my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok. And tell me to tell you guys this because if I get to 10,000 followers when I post the video on Instagram, you'll be able to swipe up in the see more section. Obrigada.
to all of you. E se você gostou desse vídeo, não se esquece de deixar o seu gostei aí embaixo, tá? Eu sei que é chato pedir, mas quando a gente não pede, a galera esquece. E isso ajuda pra caramba a divulgação do vídeo, tá? Tá saindo vídeo novo Gringo de Agem toda semana. Estão tendo vídeos novos todas as semanas. Se inscreve no canal se não é inscrito pra não perder nenhuma novidade. Segue a gente aí nas redes sociais pra ficar por dentro de quando tem gravação, qual gringo vai participar, quando a gente tá editando. Dá até sugestões pras nossas edições, que a gente tá editando alguns vídeos em live com a participação de vocês do chat. Se quiser participar, vini.live, tá aí na tela e aí embaixo na descrição também. Na descrição também tem o link do nosso podcast, tá? E aí na tela tá aparecendo a playlist do Gringo de Agem. Se você quiser ver ou rever algum episódio, a gente se vê na próxima. Um beijo e tchau. Alright, I love you guys. Beijos. Tchau.